Hey Vol Nation, I'm Casey Thunderberg, joined by Tennessee baseball head coach Tony Vitello. Coach Vitello, your team is headed to Omaha for the first time in 16 years, so how excited are they right now? It's hard to put into words, but uh, bubbly, I guess, is the thing that comes to mind. I mean, they keep asking a ton of questions of what it's going to be like, and uh, I think there's a good balance of excitement, but also they're anxious to get up there and do well. What does this mean for the program, with it being 16 years and you guys are finally getting to go back? What does it mean for the program, but also just for you as a head coach? Well, I think recruiting is the lifeblood of any athletic program, and, and it gives us a huge boost. It's no longer a vision that we're selling to people, it's reality. And the fact they can see that and experience it, and also get to see the environment that these kids have created on our campus, uh, it, it helps a ton. Uh, and then just overall for the kids that have been a part of this since we first got here, through some tough times, to be rewarded, uh, as well as any college baseball athlete can be rewarded to go to the, the promised land. Leading up to the final few minutes or few seconds of when the game ended on Sunday, what were those emotions like? And then what was it like just being able to see these guys who you said have had to work really hard these last few seasons finally get to celebrate such a big accomplishment? Sure, well full disclosure, there was a spat in the dugout between the coaches. Uh, one younger coach said, uh, do we need to do X, Y, and Z before we get the last out? Frank was not too happy. Our pitching coach is calling pitches and that's an intense thing. So uh, it was interesting in that moment. We all just wanted to make sure we focused until the last out was, was complete. And once it did, I just kind of reminded myself to slow down and take a look around and enjoy it. Sometimes I get a little overwhelmed and you know, black out or spaz out. And at that time, I think really enjoyed shaking hands and hugging all the coaches and also seeing the kids uh, eventually dogpile out there. This team has shown that they can win games and sometimes it's been in a very dramatic fashion, but why is it that they can come through and pull through a win? Well, I think sometimes athletes get a little too caught up in, in what they don't want to happen. They don't want to lose. And, and these guys are so focused on winning and winning for each other. And that's why you've seen several different guys be the hero on any given day. I think fans have seen how hard they work, but what about their personalities off the field? How would you describe them? Crazy. Um, we're, we're lucky to have a unique group of guys where they're comfortable in their own skin, which is key to being a good baseball player. Uh, and a lot of them bring something different to the table. And when you have a baseball locker room, there's, there's a lot of guys from different backgrounds, different tastes, and, and it can't always be that easy to mesh together. But with this group, even am, amongst a, a year or among a year where guys are wearing face masks and it's a pandemic, they've found a way to gel and it's been special to watch. I got a chance to talk with the seniors before senior day and I just asked them how they were able to come together these last few seasons and create what they've created this season. And they really complimented you and your staff and they said, we just bought in to what the coaches were saying. What was it that they were buying into? I think to just focus on daily improvement, um, you know, not, not to make anything too big out of any one situation and kind of accomplish the task that's right in front of you. Whatever it was, whatever they clinged on to, it, it's worked. But I think, again, just daily improvement has been our simple message. When you have a team that has success so quickly this season, so making it to the SEC Championship and then getting to host a regional and super regional, how do you just keep them focused on the ultimate goal? Uh, it, it's a challenge, but when you're playing in our league, there's things that happen along the way that teach you those lessons. Even though it's a team that's won 50 games, there's you know a handful of really difficult losses in there that I don't think they've forgotten as a group, and, and they've been great about navigating through the season and learning from, from those lessons. The plaque in your office has been a storyline lately. Can you explain just what the meaning behind it is? Yeah, you know, it was a personal gift, and, and Megan Anderson is a very important person to me because when we first inherited this thing, we just kept saying we, we can't do it alone. The people who affect our players the most are the support staff we have, our strength coach, our trainer, and again, Megan Anderson is our academic coordinator. She's around our kids every day, and, and then you tie in the fact that she used to go to Omaha and work there, and uh, she's from that area, and her family, you know, has gone through some things. And that thing represents a lot for me and it's important and it also kind of shows you you know that Omaha is just a, a short drive away maybe long for some people but for those of us who got to recruit and get on the road uh, it's not that far off in the distance it can become reality if you put in the work and these players have shown that 
There's obviously a lot of excitement after Sunday, but how are you guys taking that excitement and channeling it to just focus for this week? Sure, just the old staying true to your roots thing. Um, daily improvement, as I mentioned before, is kind of how we've gotten to this point. It's a short window between celebrating and getting on a flight. So the guys need to get their business in order and that way we can get up there and have some fun. Is there something that you're most excited about for this trip to Omaha? Absolutely. Uh, my last trip was not a fun one. We were the first team to be put out of the tournament, I hate to admit, but that was when I was wearing another color. So not messing with any karma for the big orange up there. Uh, but it wasn't an ideal experience. So I've been itching to get it back up there for all the same reasons as every other college baseball person. Uh, but a, a, an asterisk to that that's extra important to me. And lastly, Vol Nation. They have rallied around this team, and a lot of them say that they're going to Omaha with you guys. So what does that mean to you? It, it means a lot uh, because it, it can help you have success up there. Other SEC teams will tell you that in a heartbeat. Uh, when you get up there, it's a neutral site, but just like Hoover, Alabama, it can become a site that you know maybe is favoring one team or the other. And, and I don't know how it'll work out, but when we played Arkansas in the SEC championship game, I think people that are used to going to Hoover were astonished to see that we had as many, if not more, fans as the Arkansas people did. Well, I think all of Vol Nation is really excited for you guys, and good luck this week as you guys go to Omaha. Thank you. We're appreciative of that, and they've certainly had a big part in it.